Now, just moments ago, we had breaking news from the New York Fed. This on consumer uh, outlook, their expectations for where things will be one year from now. They cover a lot of things, but three really stood out to me. Where they see the stock market, finding a job a year from now, and inflation. Uh, and, and maybe when you look at those numbers, folks, Courtney, maybe this is why the market's so sluggish. They see the market uh, nowhere as enthusiastic as they were a year ago. They see inflation higher than they did a year ago. And, and, and finding a job has collapsed. So it's an odd mix, isn't it? It is. Yeah, and I would actually agree with you that I think inflation is probably one thing that is weighing upon everyone's minds here. And I do think that that is going to happen kind of regardless of the Fed increasing interest rates or not. Inflation is starting to rear its head. You're seeing that in the PPI numbers that you just mentioned. And eventually that's going to need to pass on to consumers and inflation is going to kick in. And that's the big thing I would say I'm getting easily the most questions on right now, but that's overweighing the markets is how is how and when is inflation going to kick in and when is that going to start to affect portfolios? So I've just been really urging everyone to make sure you have portfolio inflation hedges in your portfolio right now. Real quick before I move to the next topic, what's an inflation hedge? Uh, a few good examples of that, like one is commodities, think of like gold and silver or physical aspects. Another thing is real estate tends to be a good inflation hedge and energy is another really good one. So, Courtney, on one hand, we've had record amount of money printing by the Fed. You have all these fiscal stimulus checks going out. And then you've got supply, endless SPACs, endless IPOs. Has that supply actually overwhelmed then all of this money that's been coming in? Uh, quite possibly. And I think you're going to, as you're continuing to see people receiving things like their uh Payments that are coming in, you are going to maybe start to see this go back into the markets. But I think when you're looking at the okay. markets long term, profits are going to become so much more important, especially if inflation is kicking in and dividends are going to become more important. And the problem with a lot of these IPOs and these SPACs are they have little to no profits in them right now. So when you're looking down the line, I don't really think that's a great place to be adding your money right now.